It's a lonely unstrap today, but we're at BAPS. We made it. So we're going to have to edit that out in post. Well, I'm trying to talk to the camera at first, right? Fuck you guys. They can't even get it done quick, all right? So anyway, we're out here at BAPS. We didn't think we were going to make it. Whoa. Didn't think we were going to make it because uh, our barrel valve was a little bit off and we don't have the right gauge to test it. And you know, Don's out of town right now and the boys at Don Odd are out of town, but you know, they give us the best service in the game. They sent someone over to the shop on his day off, dialed it in for us, made the adjustment, and uh, hopefully the car should be a little bit better. We're really excited about that. Now let's get this bitch out of here. Come on. See if I can see. But it was the bounce technique. So we just ran practice, my first laps of BAPS, absolutely fire. I'm stoked to be on another new track and my second track in Pennsylvania. So honestly, this track doesn't necessarily feel as technical as Lincoln because Lincoln has like two different straights, two different corners, but I'm fired up, baby. I'm stoked to be here and um, I hope you guys enjoy the freaking vlog, baby. Smack that like button and get fired the fuck up, baby, because we need them subs. Let's go. Alright, so in practice, we had a good time out there, but didn't get a great read on the car. It was still pretty like slippery and greasy, so just didn't get a good idea of what the car was going to do out there. Went out for the heat race. I don't know how much we're going to see in the footage, but the car was just really tight. Couldn't get the thing to turn in, so early on, couldn't get it to turn in well enough. Started like lifting and using some brake to try and pitch it. Over pitched it once, got too sideways, just made some mistakes out there. Ended up um, like second to last, I think, 77X finished behind us that was it uh, but yeah man definitely need to make less mistakes and just understand the car and how it works on a big track because never ran a 410 on a track this big before so it's been a big learning curve and that's what we're here for man so just learn so it's a ton of fun
Send him down! Margie, take this pressure. Take pressure. Damn it, this sucks. There's a wreck right in front of us, nowhere to go. Like eight cars piled right in, and here we are. Everyone's gone, we're still here trying to fix it. There's a national opens tomorrow. We would like to race, but this is a big pain in the ass, so. Uh, chassis fabrication 101. Um, you know, we've had a lot of advice on different ways to do this, from setting it on the ground and dragging it with a chain. But this bottle jack's looking pretty good, so we're really excited about this, folks. For the record, it is 12-11 at night.